Hi, my name is Adam Grayson, and I'd like to show you a small script I wrote to help me in rigging the Destrozar here. But first, let me show you why I wrote the script. As you can see, the Destrozar has four legs, each of which has several joints. And in order to use both forward kinematics and inverse kinematics on each leg, I used three different joint chains, one forward kinematic, one inverse kinematic, and one that would be controlled by one or both of the other two. So, as you can see, when I move my IK controller, the leg will follow, as it's currently set to follow the IK joint chain. Then I'll move my FK joint chain, set the leg to be controlled by that, and you can see that it is now in the position of the FK joint chain. And then you'll also notice that I can blend between the two so that the final leg can be controlled by both to a specified degree. Now what I would normally do to set this all up is to take the XYZ rotation of both the FK and IK joints and connect it to the RGB input of a blend node, then take the output of that blend node and connect it to the rotation of the resulting joint. This would give me both the IK and FK switch, as well as a blending between the two. Then finally, I would connect the blender attribute of the blend node to my custom IKFK attribute of my switch. It was a fairly simple process, but it took a lot of time, especially considering that I needed to do it on every single joint of all four legs. So with the script, I was able to automate this process. I would select the FK joint, the IK joint, and then the resulting joint, run the script, and it would do all of the connections by itself. It would connect the FK and IK rotations to the blend node, as well as the blend node to the resulting joint. While this video is sped up and the process still takes a while, it would have taken much longer without the use of the script. However, I could have reduced the time it took had I realized at the time that I could have automated the process even further by having the script connect the blend nodes to the IKFK switch, as well as selecting all of the joints from all of the legs at once rather than just selecting a single FK, IK, and resulting joint at a time. This would have only added a few lines of code but made the entire process that much faster. And again, while I didn't realize it at the time, and I still had to perform those last few steps manually, the script did significantly reduce the time it took to rig the legs. So with all that said, let me just quickly finish out this process and show you the results. And there you go, I have my fully functioning leg rig that can be controlled by one of, or both, IK and FK. Thanks for watching.